So I found this, what is this? Picture, wooden decal. Picture, I guess it's a picture. Everyone. I've been doing a lot of shopping around town for my classroom and I've recently gone to Hobby Lobby so I just wanted to show you what I found and how you could possibly visit your local Hobby Lobby and buy the same things I guess because that's let's face it that's why we watch haul videos because we want ideas and we want to get other people's opinions and we just want to be able to share teachers should be sharing that's what makes us better teachers right sharing is caring y'all when I went into Hobby Lobby, I really didn't expect to find anything. I didn't even pick up a basket or a cart. I was just browsing the aisle and I immediately came across the Super Bowl section because Hobby Lobby is already ready for Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I decided to get ready for Super Bowl. <laughs> Once I picked up this tray, I knew that I had several ideas coming to mind and I immediately went over to get a cart because that's when I knew I was going to be finding things to take home. I plan on using this for different activities, possibly penny football, although my parents said that the pennies would probably scratch the tray, so coming up with something else, I forget what they suggested, but using it somehow to incorporate um, content with a game. Something that'll keep the students engaged, and I think they'll like this because who doesn't love sports, especially for my boys. This tray was $10. Again, I'm really glad that I went to go get that cart. I wasn't expecting to buy anything else, but then I came across the decor section. And let's face it, Hobby Lobby is on point with their decor. So I found this sign in the decor section, and when I say decor, I'm talking about classroom decor section. I mean, you can buy this for your house too, but it does say classroom, so I don't know if you want this for your house. Unless you're homeschool, that's great, great idea. What I love most about my classroom is who I share it with, and I recently went to a meeting with my principal and some other team members about um, the different restorative justice practice that we're going to be implementing in our school, and once I saw this sign, I knew I had to have it because this sign just portrays the common theme that we're going to be seeing throughout our school building this coming year, and I'm really excited. I came across the party section when I was going up and down the aisles, and I found a construction theme party set and I grabbed yellow and orange construction hats. And you're probably thinking, what in the world am I gonna be doing with these in my classroom? Because one, I don't have a theme, and two, I don't really have a color scheme either. So what could Miss Kassler possibly be coming up with? Well, because I'm teaching the little ones now, I think they'll be much happier with what I'm going to be doing with these rather than my fifth graders. They, my fifth graders would be like, this is dumb, I'm not wearing that, I'm not gonna do it, whatever. Little guys love the extra stuff that teachers give to them and like put forth more effort and they appreciate it more, I think. I'm going to be picking a child every Friday to award a construction hat with and I'm going to write on here, I've been a hard worker and I'm going to give that student their hard hat on a Friday so that they can go home and tell their parents that they were the kid that worked the hardest that week. And I just think that will be the greatest thing, seeing your child get off the bus with a construction hat on and asking them, hey, where did you get that construction hat from? How did you earn it? Why did you earn it? Like, what did you do to have to earn it? So I'm really excited to implement this. It seems like it'll be something easy for me to keep up with because I only have to do it one day a week. The hard hats were only 99 cents and I bought 25 of them. So I figured $25. It's only, I'm gonna be using this all year. It's only gonna be happening on Fridays and I just have to write with a Sharpie marker, I've been a hard worker or I've worked hard this week. I don't know what I'm gonna to decide to do. But I just thought that was a really cute idea and second grade, they're gonna love getting stuff like this. I've been browsing a lot of TPT stores getting new ideas on what kind of content I'm gonna be teaching, how I'm going to be teaching and elementary shenanigans and stepping into second grade, Hope Keem and Amy Lemons, I think is her name, they have the boot camp as their first unit one theme in their writing bundle, I think. So when I was in the party supply section, of course I found the army section and I'm gonna be taking my kids to boot camp. And part of that came with, this isn't from Hobby Lobby, but they do have them in Hobby Lobby, the little army men from Toy Story. I got these off of Amazon. There are 36 of them for like $5, but they're cheaper at Hobby Lobby, you guys. So if you are doing um, Hope King and Amy Lemon's writing back to school boot camp thing, unit one, I think, they have a boot camp, boot camp theme, go to Hobby Lobby, buy a hat. Now I did not buy one for each of my kids because I already bought them a construction hat and yes, teachers are poor. So, no we're not, we're just, um, I think money conscience, that's the thing. Teachers aren't poor, we're money conscience. 
So I just bought one boot camp hat and I'm gonna be taking my kids to boot camp because we're gonna get our act together. It was easier to grab my fifth graders attention by just standing in front of the room and calling attention basically. But with second graders, I can see them looking around, I can see them putting their heads down or just getting easily distracted. So I bought clown noses. Now I don't know how often I'm gonna be using these, um, but I thought, hey, if they are just not paying attention one day and I need to have their full attention, I plan on putting on a nose, a clown nose. And who doesn't like looking at a person with a clown nose because they are funny looking. So that's fine. If that's how I'm gonna have to get my seven and eight year old's attention, I'm gonna be putting on a clown nose. I did buy a hole puncher because I don't have one. Mine disappeared. And I can't tell you how many times last year I had to borrow my teacher next door, her hole puncher. I All the time, all the time I had to borrow it. So I finally bought myself one. Hobby Lobby had superhero capes, six for $7. So I did buy these. I don't know how I'm gonna use them yet. Um, we have our early reading program that um, recognizes super readers. So somehow I'm going to incorporate that theme using the superhero capes. And I mean, they look cool. These will get used, I promise. The last thing I bought from Hobby Lobby were these magnetic clips. And the reason why I bought these is to be able to rip off my anchor chart paper and hang the paper on the whiteboard using these magnetic holders. I thought these would hold up the paper. And now that I look at how small the magnet is on the back, I don't know that it's going to work. But that was my idea was to hold up like signs or like papers on my whiteboard because it's magnetic. So that was everything that I got at Hobby Lobby. I hope I gave you a few new ideas for your classroom this year. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos of me in the future, subscribe.